right, we're starting this video a little different. We got some sweaty workout clothes right there, but that's not what I was gonna show. So we're redoing we uh, a room down here. There used to be like a piano here. This is the door I always walk through, uh, you know, in the intros into the garage and stuff. But we got an infrared sauna. Pretty cool, huh? And then we got a jacuzzi. I don't really use this, but my wife loves it. We're waiting for some uh, proper blinds. We got a TV that's gonna go up right here because here we're getting a massage chair. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. This room is gonna be so cool. My wife calls it uh, a wellness room. If you guys don't know about infrared saunas, they're freaking dope. You can uh, sync your phone up here, listen to music and stuff, and it gets crazy hot. It's awesome. It's good for your health. Good for your health. But you guys don't really care about our little house, so we're gonna go out to the garage. And we got the Tesla sitting in here. Just wash it up. We've had a fun three days in the fastest SUV in the world. I just posted a review of this thing. All right, if you guys haven't watched that video, you need to. Cold start. <laughs> oh, look at the AMG. The AMG. She's coming home to Salt Lake City soon. Derek, don't worry. Don't worry. A uh, quick little pull. You know what, that didn't feel very fast. So I'm wondering since we're, we got low battery here, we're gonna see if it like, well it says it's in plaid. Yeah, I feel like it's still not pulling as hard as it should though. Huh, that's something else to think about though. What if you were to run out of battery? You're not even running out of gas. You're running out of battery, like what do you do? So you call a tow truck and they tow you to the nearest battery station? Do tow trucks even know how to deal with these cars? Like how do you, do you put it in neutral when the battery, like how do you get it up on the bed of the tow truck? Like stuff like that. So even though it says that it's in plaid mode, it's definitely uh, decreasing the power uh, because of the battery life, of course, because you can, you can feel it. It's like it has 500 horsepower less. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's a somewhat smart thing if you're not really paying attention. Because you don't want to run out of battery. <laughs> now look at that, we're in the red. But thank God, we're right by a supercharger station. Yeah, so now we're gonna sit here for about an hour and charge this freaking thing. I love it, but this is a kind of annoying to be honest with you. And we're gonna swap the Model X Plaid out for something completely different. So if you haven't watched uh, yesterday's video yet, Oh, look at that, we got my boy Joe. He's making a Tesla video as well, but we're not gonna watch Joe. We're gonna watch some auto vlog. <laughs> hey, you guys get the point. Go watch uh, the previous video. All right, so we got like 80%, something like that. Whoa, we got full power as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that would ever get old. I, I just don't. That is so fast. Man. Uh, of course, it's like starting to drizzle rain here now after I've just washed a black car and it's sparkling clean. I wanted to return it looking nice, of course. And look what we have sitting over here. The Ram, baby. That's not what we're picking up, though. We're picking up something completely different. But it's looking good. I love my truck. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Right, baby, we got a tuned 720 with Borsteiner kit and everything, carbon wheels. We got straight plastic saws. belong to my buddy Brody. <laughs> He's in Florida. He's like, just film all my cars when I'm gone. I'm like, okay. So this is quite the contrast. We're going from fully electric SUV plaid, fastest in the world, to one of the fastest supercars in the world, twin turbo, tuned, 
straight pipe exhaust, McLaren 720S. contrast to go from a, a you know model x plaid to this in the plaid when you're going really fast it's almost you almost feel like you can get away with it because it's so quick you can get up to super fast speeds really fast and then you just hit the brake and it's like nothing ever happened people don't even notice you because it's so quiet this thing at let's say 60 to 130 is actually slightly quicker than at least a model x plaid but it's making so much noise <laughs> Like people can hear you a mile away. It's like, uh-oh, someone's over there doing extremely illegal stuff. Damn, dude. And every time you get into a new car that's really, really fast, you know, at least me, I don't, you know, can't speak for anyone else, but you know, I treat it uh, with, with a lot of respect like I you know, don't jump in here and start doing a bunch of dumb stuff when you don't really know the car Oh my god, oh my god this thing pulls Oof. <laughs> And it's so different again. I, I mean, I know it's corny keep comparing to a freaking Tesla, but like you're banging even though you're using paddle shifters through gears and you're feeling that constant push every time you shift ah, I love it and I got a full tank of gas like I don't know 15 minutes ago <laughs> 190 miles till empty this tank is so tiny <laughs> okay so I'm at Sydney school now I'm picking her up from uh, chair practice then we gotta go straight to uh, another practice she has but anyhow she doesn't know that I'm the one coming and she doesn't know that we have a a loner car today, so she's gonna come out like, "Where's mommy?" <laughs> please, please, please! I have friends out. Please don't. What? How do I open the door? <laughs> Lift it. Oh please, no! I hate this embarrassment. What? Why is this embarrassing? This is why? This is embarrassing. Please, they're, they're my why, why is this embarrassing? It's, huh? it's just really... Why? That's extra, that's why. You want them to think I'm a picnic. <laughs> so I just found out that mom, she snitched and said I was going to come. No, don't put it on the video. Yeah, I am. Mommy snitched and said I was coming to pick you up in this car. That's no fun. Well, I mean, like, I thought, like, I thought she meant the Tesla. I thought the Tesla was a supercar. I thought she said the Tesla. No, she... no, you're lying. No, I, I seriously, I seriously thought she meant the Tesla. Uh -huh. I thought she said Mikey's bringing the supercar. So, which meant to me the, uh, the Tesla. So, I, I didn't. Tesla is not a supercar. Supercar fast, I thought it but was. it's not a supercar. Today's kids, they think it's embarrassing when they're picked up in a McLaren. It's, it's 
What's wrong with this generation? Yeah, everyone's going to think I'm a pick me now. <laughs> Dropping her off at jiu-jitsu practice in this car. Just get out of the car. Where's my clothes? From They're in the front. In the front. Frunk. Well, <laughs> Here, pull this, and then you pull up no! on the other Come on, go! You, hurry, pull up on that. No, 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 no. On this, wanna... and then pull up on the door. Pull up. into Denny all of a sudden. Look at that. Poor guy's got his Instagram account hacked. So I can't tag him. But anyway, Sydney uh, didn't really like the McLaren very much. I love it. This thing is a freaking riot. The McLaren is actually very YouTuber friendly because you can shift up and down with the same lever. So down, obviously, you push it like that. Up, just push it away from you. <laughs> I know, it's not the safest thing to do to be filming and driving, but you know, we kind of have to. Of course, there's a bunch of traffic. We can't do a proper tunnel run. Freaking pit tunnel sucks. Look, dead, dead still. What kind of tunnel is this? <laughs> it actually sounds really good, and it is loud, but I was listening to uh, the initial footage that we filmed earlier today and it actually doesn't come out on, on camera. we're gonna do and put it in neutral uh, there's three different tunes on this car and to toggle through the tunes you gotta have it in neutral you can't be driving and you pull this lever away from you and then you scroll down or up so we got tune one two and three we haven't driven it in uh, the third tune yet so we're gonna, <laughs> well I drove it shortly but we haven't done it on video this is a uh, snap crackle pop tune <laughs> Just check this out. Obviously, your boy loves it. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, they're gonna get me pops in the tunnel. Darn it. Man, this thing, this thing is a monster. <laughs> I mean, we're going 20 miles an hour, and he's like, bah, 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 bah. Let off. <laughs> no, 
no wonder Brody never drives it in this tent. That's a good thing I'm not filming this pedometer. You guys think the plaid was fast. This thing is just stupid. There's no wonder this is faster than the plaid too. From 60 to 130 at least. Oof. subscribers will remember that I did a video with Mike Street Speed 717 a long time ago when he had a Napier Green 720 and that was tuned as well and at the time of driving that car hold on <laughs> it was definitely the fastest car I had ever driven and it probably uh, I think almost still is except for a plaid um, from zero to 60 at least like these cars will be be faster at certain you know ranges or whatever but uh, you know I mean like it's hard to explain how this car pulls it is so quick with the tune because this gives it over 800 horsepower I mean it's a twin turbo you give it a tune uh, plus the uh, straight pipe the exhaust you're gonna gain I mean and that the conservative number 120 horsepower at least and this car weighs what like 3100 pounds something like that i know they're extremely light so i mean mcclay if you want the fastest supercar you can buy in like normal price ranges like 300 ish grand you can't you're not going to get quicker than a mclaren 720. so i've had one full day in this mclaren and i'm i'm in love man i'm head over heels this thing is an absolute monster huge thanks to my buddy brody for lending me this car while he's in florida uh, the next one that we're filming after this one, I'm actually even more excited about, but that, that's going to be in uh, the next video. I mean, the spec on this thing is also, I mean, it, it's close to perfect. We got carbon everywhere right here. Um, we got the side skirts from Borsteiner, kind of dirty, stupid weather. We got carbon wheels from Strauss, and these obviously fit the car perfectly matches the color we got the lip right there we got the wing from Vorsteiner we got a titanium unobtainium exhaust catless downpipes three different tunes on it and it sounds amazing it looks great too to be honest McLaren has always been like my least favorite out of the big three Ferrari Lambo McLaren because they don't have an NA option. Everything is twin turbo. But with that being said, if you exclude like an SF90 it, currently, McLarens are the fastest supercars. I don't know what they've done, but this thing pulls like nothing else I've ever driven in this class of, of vehicle. And granted, I haven't driven a, an SF90 yet, but a McLaren 720, it, it just, it, it pulls different, it does. Another thing they have going for them is of course the doors doors go up on McLarens we all know that if you want doors that go up on a Ferrari you have to either buy a La Ferrari or an Enso and we're talking millions upon millions especially for the La Ferrari with Lambos we know all the Ventadors have doors that go up I've never owned a car where the doors go up so I want a car where the doors go up 
Now, I didn't have as much time with this car, so we, we didn't have time to do a proper review. Uh, I wanna take my time when I do a review and do more research and stuff. It takes longer to film a review as well, cause you know, you do some cinematic stuff and you know, it's not just like a vlog where you're just cutting different scenes all the time. So uh, it, more, I, I think this video is turning out to be kinda long, so we're gonna end it here, but more of a, a vlogging style video. You know, Sydney was in it. She's funny and weird. She didn't like it at all. She thought it was embarrassing when I pulled up to her school in this thing. My wife doesn't even want to get in it because she knows what's going to happen. She's like, yeah, it looks good, honey. But yeah, I don't have to be in it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Finally, we had some supercar content on the channel, although it's not my car. It feels great to film some supercar content again because I, I, I miss it, man. To be honest, I, I really miss it. These are my type of cars. I love driving around in these things. They're it's it's just next level so hopefully next year we have a, a condo in florida and we can also buy a supercar so uh hoping for the best fingers crossed uh like the video if you enjoyed it it really helps out and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye